Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're back in the shop doing some client work today. So what we got on the menu is we got the diff in from the client from the Skyline from the R32. We got a new LST two-way, all the stuff that comes with it, which is really nice on the cause items. You get the diff oil, you get the bearings, the seals, extra seals, all of that. So that's nice. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we're gonna assemble it. I hope I can show you how it's done. And then the client will have a happy new two-way. You've seen in the other uh, episode we did how it looked, the old one. Um, we checked for uh, overhaul kit from COS. Would have been available, but due to COVID-19, the delivery time was like six to 10 weeks, kind of unpredictable too. So the client opted for a new one. It was a little bit more expensive, of course, but now he got a completely new LSD, which will be nice. Um, and just how it is with race cars, if in doubt, just replace it. So you have peace of mind. So yeah, let's get to this. As said, we got the diff, we got the new two-way, the oil, and what you also need for stuff like this is a lot of these gloves. Because if you know LSD oil, I really think it's the worst smelling of all oils. So it really sucks. I always have gloves because I can smell it for days on me. Even after a couple of showers, I can still smell it. Maybe it's just in my mind, maybe it's really there, I don't know. But I just really hate it, so that's why I got the gloves. Yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so we got it all apart. The diff was already kind of empty. Um, we got all these items out, the bridges, the rear cover, the stub axles. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it all up. Um, Got it all cleaned and nice, so it's ready. We're gonna replace the seals, all the stuff that came with the new LSD. Replace these and then drop it in there and measure it up. So what we do in is we take the brush here to take off the old sealant. We cleaned out all the parts and took out all the old oil so we have to blast it out take out all the old oil as far as we could there's still some down here in the pinion but we dropped it out as far as possible the old seals are still in there we have to push those out get in the new ones um, yeah so that's that so what we're gonna do next we got the new LSD here we have to install the final drive the ring onto it so we'll get this into the vise if you drop it in the vise make sure you got some rubber stuff on there like we do you don't want to get metal on metal on the LSD doesn't help the job so yeah so far what we needed is um, a, ro a metal brush a 14 and a 17 the impact gun just to make it faster you can also do it by hand not a problem so yeah that's that Okay, so we got almost all of the bolts in, missing one, I just want to show you in detail how it's done. So these are the bolts, uh, make sure you get out all of the old thread locker, I'm not sure if it's focusing nicely, um, so you can just make sure you clean it up, if you do it by hand with a brush, um, with some uh, ultrasonic cleaning machine, whatever. I doesn't matter, just make sure the threads are clean. Same thing for in here. 
make sure they're clean the, the old thread locker is out then apply some sorry missing a hand here So this is on the heavy side. So apply some tread locker. This is a bit on the heavy side. Drop it in there. Screw it in. Then get the, the torque wrench. Sorry for the shaking. So this is 132 Newton meters. It says for Mitsubishi cars, but no matter. Get that on. Let's see if I can do it by one hand. All right. So that's 132 Newtons. Um, I will go through all of them in a second but i have to lay down the camera so if you do it first i had four in there just to pull up uh, the ring just to make sure it's sitting flat on the lsd uh, without uh, tread locker then i add it and do that in a cross pattern then i added four with tread locker um, and then i took out the other ones the other four again without tread locker uh, put some tread locker on there, put them back in and got all the stuff in there and torqued up. So now I'm going to go through all of them again just to make sure it, um, just to make sure the the torque is set right on all of them. Uh, tread locker is in there. Don't mind the numbers. That's when I took it out from the old LSD. I just wanted to make sure I had the same order, but it doesn't matter on the new one um and it usually doesn't matter at all on the lsds but it's just for myself as peace of mind you can see on the cause units the the bearings are already installed there so yeah i'm going to torque it down and then the lsd itself will be ready to drop in into the casing the casing will still have to switch out the bit uh, the seals here uh, for peace of mind and then get all the other stuff in there so we got the LSD in there. Um, so what happened now, we got the bearings on here, the other part which we connected. Here you can see the old ones. So you drop these on the bearings which are already on the LSD. So we got these and now you got these shims, spacers, you have to put in here. One is already in there, you can see it here. Got to drop it in there so the LSD is in the right position from left to right so it comes up not sure if you can see it well, I can see it better if it touches the pinion uh, with the right distance so we're gonna drop the ones in there which were originally in this diff um, so the thicker one is already in now still have to slide this in uh, we have different ones of those different thicknesses so you can adjust it we'll attach uh, apply some special loop onto this turn it around turn it over and have a look if this is all connecting the right way to the pinion so let's get this in i'll need two both hands for this then we'll apply some some of the loop here and we'll see what it do all right so i'll show you again so we get some of this loop just gonna put it in there doesn't matter how it's not really coming down how much it is you just want to see how the pinion is pushing down on it so we got some in there Hope the camera doesn't fall off. So 
I just spin this. Oh. Sorry, getting a bit shaky here. So we're gonna turn this over. And here we are again. So what we can see here, oh shit, sorry guys. Oh, let me grab this. So what we can see here is the way it pushes down. It's not pushing down too much. So you can see it doesn't push down too much. It doesn't go all the way, which is a good thing. It doesn't stop up here. It goes to like, let's say 80% of where it is. Just as it was, you can see the wear a little bit on it. As it goes to like here. I hope the camera focuses on this. Get some more light in there. So it goes all up the way till here and you can see it pushes down all the way till there. So it should be good. Uh, should there be like too much whining on it? It's too close. Um, but that's why we do it so the client has warranty on it uh, if it uh, if there's too much whining something not good with it we'll take it apart again and do it over but this should be good so the shims are good the stuff which is in there we're going to bolt it down clean up the stub axles a little bit more and then it should be ready to go So here you can see the tools we needed for the job. Um, half inch wrenches, some hammers, some screwdrivers to pull out some of the clips. Um, this, the paste we use to see how it fits on it, how the final gear fit together, if you need to space it out more. A 14 socket, a 17 socket a plier to take out a clip and this to clean it up it's not much so it should be easy to go so we got the diff ready all sealed up stop shafts in there all the client needs to do is mount it drop the oil in there here's the old one the manual some stickers so ready to pick up um, I put some oil in there already just to make everything good put some on the bearings um, some on the LST but just as precaution I turn it around a little bit so it would all uh, get a little bit um, all over the, the um, bearing so yeah that's that put the sticker on so the client know what it is uh, also, maybe at a later reference point, um, if we have to overhaul it or he or whatever, 
also right on it no oil in there just as a precaution so he really fills it up so that's it for today guys i hope you liked it i hope you got some idea on how to drop in an lsd if you have any questions drop it in the comments if you like it hit the like button if you like what we do in total or all the stuff make sure to subscribe uh, we want to reach that million subscribers soon nah, just messing with you i know that's far off and i, I know that's never going to happen but that's not our target so yeah stay safe still covid 19 thing going on stay safe make sure you get your cars ready so we can kick this season off as soon as it's ready to go and i see you soon bye bye